Welcome to the next video of section 4, user controls. In the previous video we have learned about ammo spawning. In this video we'll learn more about user controls. Maybe you don't like the default controls and key combinations associated with the input axes, horizontal, vertical and fire 1. Maybe you want to change them. These input axes are read using the input.getAxis function and are specified by human readable names, but it's not immediately clear how Unity maps specific input buttons and devices to these vertical axes. Here we'll see how briefly to customize these. To get started, let's access the input settings by navigating to Edit, Project Settings, Input from the application menu. On selecting this option, a collection of custom defined input axes appear as a list in the object inspector. This defines all axes used by the input system. The horizontal and vertical axes should be listed here. By expanding each axis in the object inspector, you can easily customize how user input is mapped. That is how specific keys and controls on hardware devices, such as a keyboard and mouse, will map to an axis. The horizontal axis, for example, is defined twice. For the first definition, horizontal is mapped to the left, right and A and D keys on the keyboard. Right and D are mapped as positive button, because when pressed they produce a positive floating point values from the input.getAxis function, 0 to 1. Left and A are mapped as negative button, because when pressed they result in negative floating point values for input.getAxis. This makes it easy to move objects left and right using negative and positive numbers. Notice that horizontal is defined twice in the object inspector, once near the top of the list and once near the bottom. These two definitions are accumulative and not contradictory. They stack atop one another. They allow you to map multiple devices to the same axis, giving you cross-platform and multi-device control over your games. By default, horizontal is mapped in the first definition to left, right, A and D keys on the keyboard, and then the second definition to joystick motion. Both definitions are valid and work together. You can have as many definitions for the same axis as you need, depending on the controls you need to support. For this project, the controls will remain at their defaults, but go ahead and change or add additional controls if you want to support different configurations. More information on player input and customizing controls can be found in the online Unity documentation at this site. Great work! We've successfully learned about user controls. In the next video, we'll learn about the scoring system of our game.